To start your origami book, you need to fold and glue your red, blue, and yellow pages together. So you're going to need a blue, red, and yellow square and some glue. First of all, I'm going to talk about actually folding the three pieces of paper. I'm just going to show you how to fold the yellow one, so if you need to go back and rewind to actually see. Um, this is how they all go together in the ends. You can see how it opens, so you get that origami book effect. And then later on in another video, you want to make sure that those inner folds will have your various labels, but I'll speak about that later. So start folding your yellow. You're going to take it and you're going to fold it in half hot dog bun style. Make sure your edges meet and your corners meet so you get a nice fold. In the preview screen up in the top left hand corner, just show you what all the folds look like together in its current fold. So after you do one way, you want to fold it in half the other way so that the first fold line meets in the middle and get a nice crease. So you should have two when you open that make a kind of T in the middle. Now I'm going to fold it diagonally. So I'm going to take my corner and I want that to move across to my other corner. So I just turn it up towards the ceiling and I fold right across so I get a nice big triangle. Once I know my edges and my corner meet, I crease that fold. Then I open it up, I turn that fold line vertical. I'm going to fold across again until my lines and my corner meet. So again, in the preview screen, you can see the example of what it looks like with the folds. All right. After you've got those folds taken care of, we're going to invert it so it makes kind of the chompy chompy look. So I want to push down at the bottom corner here, and I want to kind of push in so that overlaps. Okay. Then I'll move to the other side, push in, so push in that bottom of that triangle, and then inverting it inside. So I got a square in the outside, and then when I hold it, it goes chompy chompy. If you'd like, you can label those square areas where the folds don't go inside, where my fingers were just touching with glue on either side, feel free. But you don't have to. I'll show you how to glue it in a moment. After you folded your yellow page, make sure you fold your red and blue the same way. Um, as you can see in the bottom left corner here, I have glue labeled, so if you aren't sure if you'd follow, follow or pay attention to where your fold lines are, feel free to put glue. So about pinky width, I'm making just a square in the inside. I have the fold, that inside fold facing towards me, and I have the opening away. And I make sure when I place my yellow on top that the fold lines match up and they're nice and aligned. Because if you don't glue this together right, it's not going to open properly. So make sure it opens correctly. So chompy chompies are facing away from me. So I'm going to do another glue square. Not too much glue. Then I'll lay my red on top, get that inside fold. Everything is lining up nice and straight. And then when I open it, it has that nice origami look. Okay. Same here if you want to do the glue, like I said. So you can see the red chompy, yellow chompy, and blue chompy all look good. If they aren't glued right, um, pull them apart quick and glue it correctly.